Okay, we are going to add or subtract zero. And we're going to use this number line here. The first five are red, the second five are white. So we have 10. Freddy had three strawberries for snacks. His dad gave him two more. How many does he have now? We're also going to be practicing some other math problems. So we know that he had three. He's going to have two more. Three and two is five. Freddy ate two of his strawberries. How many does he have now? So we have five minus two. Five minus two, and we get three. Logan has seven frogs. Two hopped away. How many does he have now? One hop, two hop. Seven minus two was five. Pretend that Logan's two frogs hopped back. One, two. So five plus two is seven. Stella has four pennies and she found three more. One, two, three. Four plus three is, what do we get? One, two, three, seven. Stella, Stella gave three pennies to her dad. So we're at seven. One, two, three. Seven minus three is four. Back to where we started. Now let's look at these. Two plus zero is two. Two minus zero is two. I have two. I don't add any. I don't take any away. Four plus zero is four. Four minus zero is four because I'm not adding and I'm not subtracting. They're staying the same. Three plus zero is what? If you have three and you don't get any more, you still have three. Or if you have three and you don't lose any, you still have three. Five. You have five and you don't get any more. So you still have five. Now you have five and you don't lose any. You still have five. And seven. You have seven M&Ms and you don't get any more. You still have seven. And if you have seven M&Ms and you don't eat any, you still have seven. So seven plus zero is seven. Seven minus zero is seven. Whenever we add or subtract with zero, our number stays the same. Thank you for practicing. Have a good day.